Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game, and welcome back to Steam Prison. Today, we are going to be starting Ines Heinrich Heine's Root of the Hounds. So, probably going to get a distinctly different flavor than all the other roots thus far. I'm... Ines is probably the, the love interest I've been least interested in, just because... He doesn't seem, seem very deep. <laughs> like, I can kind of, like, look at him and see that... Well, I assume, anyway, that he's, like, a very honorable, by-the-books kind of guy that has sacrificed, that's the word, sacrificed his values to survive in the Hounds. And... Now Cyrus, you know, naive and also a very honorable person, is going to remind him of the values that he once held dear kind of thing, is what I'm, basically what I'm expecting. But with the caveat of hopefully getting some more backstory into how Inez came down here, who his partner was that betrayed him or was sent down here as a prisoner... And I'm assuming Sox is probably going to be the main antagonist. That being said, I could be wrong about all of those things. Who knows? Also, I'm, I would imagine I'd run into Finn more often in this route, too, because he's part of the Hounds and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, that spiel out of the way. This is when we first meet Inez, when we were still, you know, not framed for our parents' murder. <laughs> And Elkreed had just saved us from fighting with Socks. And now, Inez is coming in right after the gunshot. That's enough, Socks. Inez, did you just fire a gun? The man Sir Soxon had called Inez shook his head. No, but I came here due to the gunshot. I don't recall an order from the Heights that we're to duel the Observers, are we? That's none of your business. She drew her sword on me first. It is my business. We all serve the temple, and if the criminals see us fighting, it undermines our authority. Sir Saxon reluctantly sheathed his sword, grumbling under his breath. You too. Sheathe your sword. What should I do? Sir Saxon had put away his weapon, but still glared at me with murderous intent. I decided to trust the man who had convinced Sir Saxon to back off. Very well. I'm sorry, but who are you? My name is Inez Heinrich Heine. I'm the second in command of the Hounds. Second in command? It makes sense that he convinced Sir Saxon to stop then. But... Sir Saxon and Sir Inez were of similar height and build. But the impression they make is completely different. Cyrus, are you okay? We need to treat your wound. Are you wounded? I see a cut on your shoulder and... A blow to the other arm. Do you have medical facilities? Finn? Don't scold me. This is worse than you think. That wound is too serious to leave untreated. Finn took a handkerchief and deftly wrapped it around my left arm. He seemed to be correct. The handkerchief immediately turned red, which meant the wound was deeper than I thought. I will escort you to the medical room inside the Hound's headquarters. Socks? No need. This can't be called an injury. Sir Soxon wiped at the graze on his cheek, turned on his heel, and walked away. When he was gone, Sir Inez gave a sigh and looked at me. <sighs> Let's go, then. Yeah, let's go meet everyone's favorite doctor. <laughs> eh, I'm never going to be able to look at this guy again without having a <laughs> feeling. Excuse me. Hey, Inez. Oh, who's this? Observers from the Heights. Inez looked at me expectantly. I realized he didn't know our names. Cyrus Testella, this is Finn Euclid. Cyrus got into an argument with Sox, I mean Soxon, and was injured. There's blunt force trauma on her right arm and an open wound on her left. Please take a look at it. Of course. 
Treating the wounded is my job, after all. I know what you're about to do. Don't look at me all innocent like. I am Glissade Rosalight. I work as a doctor for the Hounds. Unfortunately, we're unlikely to meet again if you're a guest from the Heights. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. P pleasure to meet you. Huh. You seem confused. Yes, I... Both you and Inez are very different from Sir Saxon. <laughs> I'm just a doctor. I'm not capable of his brutality. Mmm. Glissade. Whoops. I shouldn't have said that when the second in command was an earshot, even if it is the truth. Saxon Brandenburg leads the hounds. He would chase his prey to the end of the earth like a hound. A hound? You can't oppose him here in the Sanctuary District and expect to live. You provoked someone very dangerous. It seems like it, but... Sir Saxon was about to injure a child. I can't excuse an abuse of power like that. I see. I hope your forthright instincts won't cost you your life one day. Um, we can chit-chat later. Can you please tend to Cyrus's wounds now? Oh my, I'm sorry. Please, this way. I need to dress the cut first. Glissad smiled and untied the handkerchief. I took off half my coat to expose my arm. Glissad made small noises of appraisal. Finn leaned in. Um, how does the wound look? The cut is sharp and clean. It should heal neatly. If we stop the bleeding and wait a day, it should be back to normal. See? It wasn't a big deal. Ah. <sighs> Finn sighed with relief, and I lightly slapped his stomach with the back of my hand. I don't like how you keep worrying too much. I only do it because you're so indifferent about yourself. What if you'd needed a transfusion? Then I would have gotten a transfusion. But you can't. Does your body reject transfusions? Thanks, Finn, for your big mouth. I'm sorry I'm showing so much curiosity. It's interesting to me as a doctor. Yes, but it's really nothing dramatic. I have unusual blood. One transfusion gives me no troubles, but a second one is potentially fatal. Potentially fatal? Yes, I'm told that antibodies form after the first transfusion, so more transfusions can cause a rejection. I don't know how it works exactly, and I've never had a transfusion, so I don't know if it's true. The cure could kill, eh? That's harsh. Is it? A wound serious enough to need a transfusion would be mortal danger anyway, wouldn't it? Besides, as I said, I've avoided them so far, so there's no cause for concern. You needn't worry about me. Finn is being fussy. I shrugged and smiled at Finn. But... It's normal to be worried for your partner. You too, Sir Inez. If you don't want others to worry, then don't get hurt. Don't you agree? Yes, that's true. Sir Saxon is strong, but if the fight had gone differently, I think I could have won. If I duel him again, I'll... That's not what I meant. That's not what I mean. I meant that you shouldn't do something so reckless. Oh, I, I see. Having a strong moral code and wielding your sword in the name of justice is a good thing. But fighting the wrong battles and losing your life leads to nothing. All you leave behind is a grieving partner. That's... that's true, I suppose. I'm sorry, Finn. Cyrus. I'm just glad you understand now. I'll be a little more careful from now on. A little? Cyrus, please. <laughs> what a courageous girl you are. All right, your treatment is finished. Thank you. I'll arrange a change of clothes for you so that you don't have to wear a damaged uniform. No, that won't be necessary. My overcoat is in good shape, and one has to look closely to see the damage to the uniform. All right. It's already fairly late. You should make for the station soon. Um, will there be another observation date? No. 
All that's required of you is to see the Sanctuary District. Then the hounds sign your permit and the observation is complete. Uh, oh. We were only here for such a short time. Yes. The observation for the rank 2 exam is merely a ritual. With socks elsewhere, I'll sign in his place. Your permits. Thank you. Here. We handed over our permits, which he signed with a pen from one of his uniform's pockets. That'll be enough. Let's go. I will walk you there. Thank you. Glissade, thank you for the treatment. Take care. Huh. You don't see interesting women like her down here very often. I'd like to see her again someday. I'll arrange it personally. <laughs> Gag, barf, puke. <sighs> it was dark by the time we reached the station. I saw the sanctuary district in the distance, and beyond it the settlements of those native to the depths. I looked around, burning a scenery I didn't expect to see again into my memory. Thank you for your help today, Serenas. I'm sorry Sox was being abrasive. I know that this was just promotion protocol for you, but is there something you can take away from it anyway? Something I can take away? <laughs> that the Heights is a wonderful place. Um, yeah, one of these, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I'll do this one. I... I need to be stronger. Words don't mean much in the end. Deeds need to back them up. I want to be strong enough to make sure that my beliefs can persevere. You're still young. You can become much stronger than you are now. Tread that path carefully and without haste. I will. Thank you. You should both get a good night's sleep. You had a long day. We will. Thank you. We saluted Sir Inez and boarded the lift. Until I see you soon, Boo. He kept an eye on us until the doors were completely closed. Alright, so that's the last we're going to see of Sir Inez for a little bit. So I'm actually going to cut here, guys, and skip ahead and bring you back in when we run into Inez again. Alright, those footsteps you hear is Inez coming to my rescue after uh, some hounds were trying to get revenge on me for breaking up a tryst between one of them and Ryleth. And uh, yeah, he really saved me there, so let's see the scene play out again. That's enough. The hell are you? Inez Heinrich Heine, your superior. Vice Commander! Uh, um, we... I'll listen to it later. Untie her and step away. But the commander told us to bring her. Sox did. Alright, but that doesn't explain why you pinned her down. Stop the aimless violence. She is a criminal. What does it matter? Don't abuse a defenseless woman. They will laugh at us behind our backs and say we can't go for anyone but the weak. <laughs> Serena has turned his gaze to me and told me to stand up. <laughs> my joints creaked and I had to steady myself against the wall. You're not lying when you say that Sox told you to bring her. N no He told us to bring her in for a medical and put her in isolation cell 3. Alright. I'll bring her in. Any objections? There was silence. Serena has looked at the hounds and nodded. Then go back to your posts. Away with you. The others dispersed immediately. In less than a minute, we were alone. Thank you for rescuing me, Serenas. Don't get the wrong idea. I'll still escort you to your cell. I have no idea why it's even coming to this. Well, you see... Stop. I don't want to know. I'll obey Sox's command and bring you in. That's all I need to know. I see. Still, let me thank you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come. I wonder what the men wanted to do with me. I truly didn't know, but I did know it was nothing good. Thank you. You're an odd one. You're being taken to a cell. 
You know that, right? Shrugging off his confusion, Serena took out a rope used to restrain prisoners. The rules say that if I bring you in on my own, I have to tie your hands. All right. <laughs> We're both odd ones, Serena's. There's no need to ask me if you have to do it anyway. I put my arms behind my back to make it easier for him to tie them. There is truth to that. His movements were a little clumsy. I could feel the rope chafing at my skin. It was an unfamiliar pressure. Let's go. Just walk straight. Roger that. When I was still a police officer, I was the one restraining people. I tied ropes better than this. I felt a wave of dismay and let Serena direct my walking. We were going straight towards the headquarters of the Hounds, the place the people in the Sanctuary District feared most. Hey, look who it is again. Glissade. Oh, Serena's. And that's... Good evening. Hello. Why was I called in so late? Never mind. I know why I'm here. Glissade stood up and read through some papers on his desk. It says here that Soxen ordered a medical. I didn't expect you to bring her in, though. Hmm. Now I wonder if Sox was the one that made the medical order specifically, or if Glissade just slipped that in with Sox's order to bring her in, bring her in as a prisoner. Merely a coincidence. Pay it no heed. Glissade gestured towards a chair and I sat down. There are scratches on your cheek. What happened? There was some shoving. I see. Still as enthusiastic as ever. Glissade coated a gauze with some kind of disinfectant and pressed it to my cheek. I winced. <laughs> you won't last if that kind of pain is enough for you. Right? Perhaps, yes. What do you mean, Serena's? I don't know what Sox is planning, but usually when someone is put in solitary confinement, they're there to be punished. I would assume the same goes for you. Punished? But why? You don't know why. I... I protected a woman from a violent member of the Hounds yesterday. At the time, that had seemed like the correct course of action. It only made it harder for Ryleth, and I was captured as well. Are you saying I shouldn't have protected her? Should I have just... ignored her? I understand how you feel, but rules are rules. What you learned is right and just in the Heights doesn't apply here. The Hound set the rules here. If you resist, you are punished. That's all there is. But... No, no. Here, drink this. It will calm you down. Glissade gave me some water and a pained smile. Thank you. I drank all of it. It didn't calm me down. Liar. Do you want to live a long life, or do you want to die young? Glissade. I can rephrase that. Do you want to die peacefully or in horrible pain? The rule of the Hounds is absolute here in the Sanctuary District. Obey the powers that be and don't dwell on it too much. You'll find that life isn't all that harsh. Perhaps, but it's hard to accept that. This may not be the Heights, but the Hounds are still a part of the Temple. They are supposed to serve the people. I can't accept their unjust and arbitrary violence. I'm incredulous that you can say that while I'm listening. I'm the Vice Commander. Oh. Let's ignore what you want for now. I don't want you to die, alright? I hate autopsies on young people. She's a little malnourished, but that's all. She passes. Alright, come on. He thumped my shoulder and I stood up. Thank you, Glissade. Take care. I pray that you make it out of solitary confinement alive. I bet you do. Hopefully Socks and Monk go overboard. Socks? Overboard? <sighs> nah. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys stick around for a bit. We're gonna skip through the Socks torture. But Ina should be coming to visit us after that, so I'm just gonna 
Very carefully, Skip. Very, very, very carefully. Ah, okay. Not carefully enough, but anyway. So I was getting choked and then, oh, here you are, Socks. Enos, what is it? The new guy is here. You'll want to interview him. Ah, that would be thin. Soxon kept his eyes on me as he listened to Serena's. Women like you don't deserve to be killed quickly. You need to be cornered like prey and ripped apart by hounds. He's gone. You shouldn't provoke him. <laughs> I offered no reply. Serena sighed and looked around my cell. Ugh. You didn't touch the food. <laughs> You're so thin. Aren't you eating? He picked up the bowl of oatmeal and approached me, leaning down. He forced my mouth open with one hand, force-feeding me spoonfuls of food with the other. Oh man, I'm being force-fed food again! Back to back. <laughs> St stop If you promise you'll start eating for yourself, I'll stop. If you won't eat, I'll make you eat. He shoved another mouthful in. I began to choke. Serena's looked down at me and sighed. <sighs> what are you hoping to accomplish with this hunger strike? What's this stubborn little rebellion going to achieve? Dying here is pointless. Why? Hmm? You're with the hounds. The others said... They said the hounds wouldn't help me. So why aren't you the same as them? I'm doing my job as a member of the hounds. I'm not doing this for you. Nobody told me to kill you, so I'm not going to let you die here. We all go to the grave eventually, so we should live as long as we can. Refusing to die is also a kind of rebellion. A kind of rebellion? I wondered if Sir Inez realized that I was refusing to eat as a way to show resistance. He probably does. He was also trying to give me advice. I have no idea why he's doing this. I knew that I had to change my approach, my way of thinking. I'd lost my parents and been exiled to the Sanctuary District, but I was still alive. So far, I'd survived. Didn't I swear to myself that I'd survive? I'd sworn to myself that the chaos wouldn't swallow me, that I would endure it. It's too early to give up. I have to live through this. Thank you, Serenas. I will- I tried to stand up, but my legs were too weak and I fell. Serena's caught me before I hit the ground. Thank you. Eat your food and get your strength back, okay? Then you can make bigger plans. His whispers were low and calming. I felt safe. Okay, I promised and closed my eyes. Okay, is this when you were meeting Soxon? Yep, okay. Well, we've seen this before, so I will skip ahead again, guys, until we run into Enos again. Okay, so it turns out we didn't have to go too far. Right after the Finn scene this is when Enos comes to release us from solitary confinement. So, huzzah. I stopped refusing food after Sir Enos admonished me for it. The hounds used this opportunity to insult me again. But now that I had changed my way of thinking, that meant nothing to me. I started eating and taking my medicine again, and it gave me back some positivity. I realized belatedly that food fills the heart as much as it does the stomach. Are you ready? Serena's. In other words, can you stand? <laughs> the night before the day of my release, Soxon had come to my cell. He punched and kicked me, but had stopped short of killing me. Despair. He talked about hating my eyes, if I remember right. I hated more than just his eyes. I hated everything about him. I was determined to not fall into despair. I'll never do what he wants me to do. What if I can't stand? You will stay here until you can. I'd rather not. I see. 
I'll stand. I steadied myself against the wall and pushed myself up. Ah! Uh, Are you okay? Please, don't touch me! I'm... I can do this. I don't need support. If I can't stand, I can't leave. All right. I have to focus on standing. One by one, I force my limbs back under my control. Okay, this is going to work. Huh. I looked up at Serena's. I'm okay. Let's go. Serena's gave me a long, searching look, then shook his head. I'm sorry. Your injuries are too severe. I don't think you should leave. But... No. I want to leave. Soxon is just going to come back. If you're waiting for a full recovery, I'll be here forever. Please, let me out. <laughs> Sir Inez, please. We need to treat your injuries first. Let's go to Glissade. If he says you're fit to leave, I won't stand in the way. Alright? If that's the only way you'll agree to it, alright. Okay. Let's go. I wonder what Glissade is going to say about these injuries. I made a decision to hide as many of them as I could and play down the pain I was in. But hiding injuries from a doctor won't be easy. There was a possibility that he was going to send me back to my cell. I followed Sir Ina's, uncertain both on my feet and in my mind. Ah, you'll be fine, girl. Oh my. You look terrible. <laughs> Blunt force trauma? Cuts? This will take a few days to heal. I'm not looking for healing. I want out. I want you to let me out. Hey. Serena's told me that I can leave if you give the okay. If I give the okay? It is her view that if she stays here, Socks will keep her too injured to leave. I see. Well, she's a fighter. Alright. I give the okay. Th thank you. Are you sure about this? Uh, well... It's blunt force trauma, and she's young. It will take some time to heal, but salves and some re recuperation ought to be enough. Also, in terms of mental health, some sunlight is better than keeping her in that tiny cell. But keep this in mind. This isn't a hospital. It's just the medical facilities of the Hound's headquarters. Once you leave, that's it. No more help. You can't change your mind once you step outside. Alright. Yes, that's fine. These injuries are nothing compared to being held captive. Alright. Then eat well and get rest outside. And make sure you take the medicine which the hounds distribute. The medicine. I don't want their help at all, but... I judged it prudent to keep that to myself and nodded. Don't overexert yourself. All the best, Cyrus. Thank you. You're being a big help, Glissad. <gasps> I twitched, startled at the sound. What was that? Oh, sorry. I have someone seriously injured there recovering. Glissad gestured towards the curtain. The patient must have been on the other side. If there's a patient here, they must be a criminal. Perhaps the hounds put them in the state? Are you worried about him? Yes. It's sad that someone got so injured. You should worry about yourself first. <laughs> yes, I agree. Well, I must tend to him now. Serena's? Okay. I will escort her out. Bye. Okay. Thanks, Glissad. Thanks for nothing. Alright, there's my boy. We're gonna skip through all of that. From his point of view. And then we should be outside after that. Okay. Let me out of this crazy place! <laughs> I blinked hard, my lights- my eyes unaccut- uh, blah, good grief. <sighs> my lights unaccustomed to the eyes? I blinked hard, my eyes unaccustomed to the lights. 
After my long confinement, just standing out in the open was a small joy. I watched Sir Ina's return into the building, then walked away towards the sanctuary district, that den of criminal scum. Alright, so it's gonna be a while again before we run into Ines. So actually, I'll bring you guys in in a little bit, alright? Prisoner root hype! Alright, well since we're in the prisoner route properly, and I haven't done any of these other options yet with Adage. Oh man, I missed his music. His theme song's so nice! Uh, so, we're gonna pick one of these other ones. How about this one? Okay, that's a down. Understandable. But, no, I'm fine. I don't have money and nothing else to give you. Stop whining. What if your condition gets worse? He scowled and knelt down in front of me. I'm examining you because I want to. Just sit still and stop talking. But- Don't worry about it. I just don't want to regret leaving you here. I'm a light sleeper. I don't want to deal with you showing up in my dreams. Oof. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Adage. My love. Please, not like this. Okay, I don't know. I can't remember exactly when we run into Ines again. This might be him? Wait. <laughs> yeah, hey, I remembered perfectly. Huzzah. Sir Inez. I turned, seeing Sir Inez a short distance away. What are you doing here? Why do you ask? Am I being interrogated? I was puzzled by his motivation and answered that I was taking a walk. Here. Is that forbidden? No, you're free to do that. Why are you here, Serenas? I'm on patrol. I called out to you when I saw you. You look better than you did the other day. Oh. Maybe he's just concerned about how I'm doing. My reaction must have been rude. I'm doing well. Thank you for helping me. I sincerely hope I'll never see you in there again. Serena struck a pensive pose and began to ask me a question. Have you gotten used to life in the Sanctuary District? How is it? Why are you asking that? I had no idea what his motivation was. He doesn't seem like the kind of person to like small talk. If anything, he was of the brusque, taciturn sort who didn't talk more than he had to. Why was he interested in my life? I have no idea, but I suppose there's no reason to stay as guarded. He was with the hounds, but showed none of their haughtiness. He had helped me many times. Unlike Soxen, I'd never seen Serena's harm people in the Sanctuary District, either. My life, huh? I pondered his question and then shook my head. I've gotten a little more used to it, but not much. I rely entirely on a family's kindness to survive. I see. I suppose that isn't surprising, given your noble origins. Uh... Serena's, you know who I was. Cyrus Testella. That's your name, right? Yes, it is. I remember getting your affection points mistakenly last time. Yes, I'm Cyrus Testella. I see. I thought so. <laughs> Why are you smiling? Oh, sorry. It just made me happy to, see, to say my family name again. I was told to never say my family name when I was sent down. I felt cut off from the Heights and my parents. This made me happy, if only a little. Your family name will only weigh you down here. Weigh me down? Yes. A name can guarantee you work and authority in the Heights. It can do the opposite as well. But... I see. You're a Testella. Hmm? I had no idea what Serena's was thinking about. He's got such a nice smile on his face when he's like, Huh, interesting. The Testellas are quite well known. They produce a long line of politicians. 
Even I know that. And yet you're here. Why? You were blessed with great riches and all comforts, right? If only I was here for a reason. If I had actually been a criminal, I could have told him why I had been sent down. But I wasn't. I hadn't killed my parents. He wanted to hear my story, but there was little I could tell him. Serena's, do you think I'm lying about my birth? Well... That's sad. I'd gain nothing from claiming to be someone I'm not. I could have shown him my pendant, but I no longer had it. I had nothing to show. I have nothing with which to prove my identity. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. <laughs> Let me ask again. Why were you sent to the Sanctuary District? Why do you ask? Don't you know the reason? I do. Sox... Soxon, that is, gave me the short of it. But you don't seem like a criminal to me. Ah. Uh. After human beings take a life, a beast lives inside them. To one degree or another, it shows in their eyes. Even if they are warm and friendly, or very good at hiding their secrets, they cannot conceal the cold edge in their gaze. I can't see it in your eyes. Therefore, it's difficult for me to believe. Did you really kill your own parents? <laughs> I was speechless. He's the first one. The first one other than Finn to doubt the charge. But... No, I shouldn't get carried away. He wasn't believing my story. He was simply curious. But it still made me happy. Indescribably happy. I did not kill my father or my mother. I love my family. I would never have killed them. Then why... I don't know. Someone must have set me up, but I don't know who could have done it. I see. Serena's fell silent. His eyebrows were creased. I looked up at him and spoke. It isn't fair if only I answer questions. Will you tell me something about yourself? About myself? Yes. Why are you working for the Hounds? You seem too noble for... I have no intention of giving private information to a criminal. He cut me off so abruptly that I winced. <laughs> a criminal, huh? I thought he'd believed me, but apparently he still considered me nothing but a criminal. Most people didn't change their opinion in the space of a few minutes like that, after all. Nevertheless, I felt vaguely betrayed and disappointed. We'll get the chance to talk about it one day, I think. Don't look at me like that. Headpats? <laughs> Serena's put his hand on my head in consolation. I forgot you gave headpats! H how did I look at you? With a look of disappointment. It was awful to behold. R really I netted, needed... Nedded kneaded the skin on my face with both hands. Did I really? <laughs> Did you just laugh at me? No. No, you smirked. I know you did. I looked up at him again and cleared my throat. <clears throat> I understand that I can't ask a personal question, Serena's. I want to ask a different question, then. Go ahead. What is it? Do you know of an open position in the Sanctuary District? An open position? The Hounds are not an employment agency. I know that. We provide food. Is that insufficient? Perhaps. I'm loath to accept the help of the Hounds. Because you don't like socks. Soxen. I nodded. There are a significant number of people who reject the provisions of the Hounds and try to make it on their own for one reason or another. Really? Yes. Some of them go outside and procure wares to sell in the Sanctuary District. Others grow vegetables or raise animals to support themselves. There are many ways. I thought the walls prevent us from easily going out. Yes. To go outside, you have to pass through our checkpoints. If you have our permission, you may leave. But it isn't easy to come by. I see. Is buying and selling itself permitted? 
It depends on Soxon's mood. The laws of the Heights have no force here. Soxon Brandenburg is the law. Plenty of people here support themselves without relying on rations. But if you're too conspicuous, you attract Soxon's attention with it. With that in mind, I'm not sure if working is really the best idea. Yes, I need to be inconspicuous about it. I had already suffered a lot at Soxon's hands. I wanted to avoid him. And with that being said, I will make my choice to begin your route, Sir Inez. The Hounds had absolute power in the Sanctuary District. Fighting them at every turn isn't wise, whether I want their help or not. You're right. Thank you for the warning. Okay. Let's hope you will act accordingly. I can't say for sure, but I have a feeling we may be alike. You may be right about that. The two of us, Serena's? He nodded. I'm an awkward man who finds it difficult to live. Perhaps that part of us is alike. Thank you? However, you are young and I am not. You can still change. Treat the life you have with care. There will be no other. Serena's. I'm sorry I kept you up for so long. Oh, no. I'm glad we could talk. And... I'm glad you changed my mind a little. How so? I was thinking of everyone in the Hounds as an enemy. Knowing that you're among them, Serena's, I'm ashamed of my prejudice. No, you should be careful. I'm thought of as an eccentric. An eccentric? Yes. I don't fit in. I see. I still want to trust you, Serena's. It's difficult to trust anyone in this place. But that's precisely why I want to follow my heart. Now that we've had a chance to talk, I want to believe that you're a good person. I don't want to change my opinions based on what others tell me. Don't blame me if I don't live up to your expectations. That will be then, and this is now. It would be my own fault for misjudging you. <laughs> he likes her. Serena shrugged and walked away. Serena's the misfit member of the Hounds. I looked after him as he disappeared, curious. 